Okay, Cashtook Bowcraft here uh, again. Um, continuing on with uh, tillering this uh, bow and um, shaving off the, uh, the limbs. Um, but what I want to do is show you guys, you know, what I do while I'm uh, shaving the uh, or scraping the limbs. Um, again, as I noted in a previous video, you know, I typically color in the uh, the limb so as I'm scraping it you know if there's any pencil marks left um, you know that'll be uh, uh, those would indicate low spots and and um, you know if there's uh, the other areas would indicate uh, high spots and um, what I'm going to do now is uh, uh, do a couple of uh, scrapes um, I've already got this limb partially scraped down to the same amount of uh, scrapes that I did on that limb you want to count your strokes and I did approximately I did uh, 40 strokes on this limb marked it down and um, I've already done 30 strokes on this limb so I got 10 more left to do after I do that we'll uh, exercise the limbs and uh, we'll put on the tree and exercise the limbs and um, see what we get as far as uh, uh, draw length right now this is drawing uh, 50 pounds at 50 pounds at 18 inches um, yesterday it was 50 pounds at 16 so I gained a couple of more inches um, so after this we're probably going to get down to maybe 19 maybe 20 inches and then at that point we'll stop and um, uh, reflex the limbs Okay, so um, what I do, I got this uh, scraper thing. It's just a piece of metal, um, Mystic Scraper. It's a great tool. And um, we'll just take it from one end and just do one uh, stroke uh, ten times. I got ten more strokes to do on this side. Here's the uh, shavings that it gives. It takes off a good amount of wood, uh, but the good thing is that it takes it off slow, so um, uh, you won't be taking off too much wood all at once and then possibly uh, ruining the tiller or messing up the tiller on your uh, bow. So it's always good to go slow. I like using this. It takes a long time, obviously, it's longer than a rasp. Um, but uh, I like using it because it, it lays flat on the limb. And it's very important to have flat limbs and um, uh, you know it's very controlling as far as uh, being able to control how much wood just by uh, angling the tool uh, back and forth you know you can determine how much wood you want to uh, remove so it's a great little tool um, I used to just make my own but I went out and bought this because it looked like a, something cool and something different from what I had and I've had this ever since probably uh, over five years now and you can see that it's not uh, the least bit uh, worn out. So we're going to go ahead and put this on the uh, tillery tree uh, and um, exercise the limbs and then see what we got for draw, draw weight. Okay so we got the bow on the tree and um, usually what I do after I finish uh, scraping uh, the limbs I exercise the limbs and all you do is just tug on the string and and go up and down and uh, flex the limbs probably about 30 times or so just to get the uh, fibers uh, stretched out and then uh, I put a little level again on the top to make sure uh, the bow is sitting level on the uh, on the tree and then I take my measuring stick here and uh, oops I moved the bow a little bit and um, I'll just put my finger at the damn it on the tip of the bow Okay, and then I'll come to this side, do the same thing, and um, we are pretty much even. So this bow, at least as far as I can tell, is um, uh, pretty evenly uh, flexed, and um, uh, it looks to be in pretty good tiller. And like I said before, it was before I scraped it, it was doing 18 inches or 50 pounds at 18 inches, 
and um, we're going to pull it down right now and see uh, how far we get. I'm going to try to stick with uh, 50 pounds. Hopefully we'll get at least 20 inches out of this. Okay, I just weighed the bow. You can see I still have the short string on here. Um, it's not full brace yet, um, but I could probably brace the thing uh, higher um, right now because now successfully um, we're able to pull 50 pounds at 20 inches out of a 48 inch bow. Um, we can probably pull uh, a few more inches, um, but I'm going to do that after I get the bow sinewed. Um, because putting on the sinew uh, can affect the tiller of the bow if the sinew is not uh, layered um, you know, evenly on one side of the back uh, and the other. It'll make some stiff spots in here and there, but um, uh, those should be easily correctable um, uh, after it dries and then we'll go in and tiller the bow uh, probably possibly to get 24 inches. But uh, for now I'm going to stop uh, scraping the limbs and um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, reflex uh, in the limbs. I haven't figured out exactly if I wanted to recurve the tips, slightly recurve the tips or reflex the tips or reflex the entire limb. Um, but I guess I'll just play it by ear and do whatever I'm going to do. <laughs> anyway, so this is the bow. Again, it's a 48 inch hickory uh, short bow. Um, and it's right now uh, drawing, like I said, 50 pounds at uh, 20 inches. We can certainly stop at this point, uh, you know, put it at uh, full brace height and uh, finish the bow just as it is, like a, like a long bow. But I'm going to uh, send you back it and I'm going to introduce some reflex into the limbs and make it uh, a little bit uh, uh, special and a little bit more durable and a little bit more performance. So there you go. Next time we turn this on, we'll have the bow in the, uh, in the jig and uh, bending the limbs. Okay, before I uh, go and start uh, reflexing the limbs, I just wanted to show you guys um, the, uh, the bow one last time before I start that. I've got it now at full brace height, which is about uh, four inches or so. I'm not sure how high that is just a little over fist um, uh, my fist uh, length um, probably about I don't know four four and a half inches something like that anyway so this is the bow as it looks at uh, full brace um, you can see it's uh, bending uh, fairly well and um, it looks pretty symmetrical to me so uh, there you go now uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, heating up those limbs and getting them bent. Okay, um, before, <laughs> one more time, before I uh, flex the limbs, I'm going to go ahead and shoot this bow. Um, it doesn't hurt to shoot it to uh, get it a little bit worked in. Um, and then what we'll do, we'll check the uh, string follow and see just how much the limbs uh, are following the string once I shoot it a few times. Um, I got a piece of duct tape here because I don't have the serving that goes all the way up to uh, service the, uh, to hold the arrow in the knock. So I put a little bit of duct tape on here so um, uh, I can knock the arrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this right now. Pretty good. Um, only got two arrows right now, so I only took two shots. Oh hell, I'll take another one. I'll take two more shots. <laughs>
So there you go. Shoots pretty good. Shoots pretty fast. Just got to get used to it because it's so short you can't put do an anchor point. But that's okay. That's the way these short bows are made to made to shoot. Uh, short distance uh, shooters. So anyway, this is the, the bow itself. Um, looks to be in pretty good teller. Uh, shoots really nice. Uh, hardly any hand shock at all. Uh, the did, string did slap my wrist while I shot so um, maybe I'll raise this brace height just a little bit more but uh, um, I'm thinking that this is about as high as those, the brace height goes. It's just over four inches or about four inches and um, but it shoots very well pretty fast.